treatments that they've been doing for more than a decade now at Westlake Dermatology. Nine locations offering the cool sculpting treatments. If you can pinch more than an inch, you're a perfect candidate. Find out more by simply calling. Welcome to the Texas Sports Monthly Friday Night Countdown. Presented by the ABC Home and Commercial Services High School Football Network. Also brought to you by American Water Connecticut, Factory Mattress, Round Rock Honda, Round Rock Hyundai, Round Rock Toyota, RV Outlet Mall, Dr. Craig Eckert, Austin Billiards, Qualtech Automotive, Sharp Vision Modern LASIK, Capital Chevrolet, Urology Austin, Whataburger, Thriven Financial, Vandegrift High School, Inner Space Cavern, Thomas J. Henry, Mack Hike Ford Lincoln, Total Men's, RV Outlet Mall, UFCU, Central Texas Honda Dealers, and Tires to You. Now, here's your host, Russell Dowden. All right, welcome to the Friday Night Countdown here on The Horn. I'm Russell Dowden, publisher of Texas Sports Monthly, riding shotgun with me always, a senior staff writer, Steve Ryan, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. Football season. Yeah, let's yes. go. Yeah, well, it's it's technically football season. You can say now, I feel like it more now because of the NFL game last night on Thursday. So when you got the NFL, you got the one week of college and high school behind us, and we got one NFL game behind us as of last night. Uh, with that win over the Bears from the Packers, so it's to me, it's like hey, we're here. It's it, here. It's here, and it is glorious. It is indeed <laughs> glorious. Um, so the um, ABC Home and Commercial Services High School Football Radio Network. We're going to do the whip around with Kit McConico here in a little bit. Uh, brought to you by Howdy Honda. It'll be a look at all of the games in the ABC Home and Commercial Services High School Football Radio Network here and the IHS. Fan webcast network. So this year a little bit different. As I know, we're new here as, as part of the new programming here on the Horn this year, Steve. But you know, um, Rick Epstein and what he's done with the IHS fan webcast network here, uh, just a- adding more games. Two games last night on the webcast. Uh, there are another eight games yeah. tonight. I, I plus love the it. plus the two that we've got since Vandergriff played last night. So I mean, the Horns covering. I guess 11 games Yeah, tonight alone? That, that is awesome. You know, the city's blowing up, and the high school football is blowing up with it. So many good teams and players out there. Got to give them the recognition. Like I said last week, the people need to know, Russell. They need to know. <laughs> well, they're tuned in. If you're listening in here tonight as you're on your way to the stadium or making your way through traffic trying to get to the game or you're already there tailgating, guys, uh, stay tuned to the Horn or use the Horn app. Uh, if you're listening to the Cavs game, if you want to listen to, to uh, the Bowie game there, uh, here are coming up. But you can switch through these games, Steve. If you're on the app, or you can flip through, go check out that Westwood score, or go check out Cedar Ridge at uh, Cedar Park tonight. That's a game that's uh, being covered on the webcast as well. Uh, then we got Glenn at McNeil uh, tonight. Um, God, this is a haze at Dripping Springs. So That'll be a good one. That'll if you're, good if you're, if you're, if you're, what's the the the, the chicken fried chicken? Well, it's the, the cat, catfish. It's the catfish out it's there. The, the in, catfish and Dripping Springs. <laughs> dripping man. Springs. Uh, Round Rock at Belton. That one's also being covered on the IHS fan webcast. All here aired on the Horn app tonight. So. Um, just check that stuff out, and uh, also want to mention real quick: um, you can, uh, if you're out there and you're covering games, or if you've got a highlight reel, you can submit the best plays around the region by submitting your best play of the night or a tag the horn with a hashtag horn hs and your video could make the abc home and commercial services highlight reel of the night so there's a highlight reel uh, that they're the horns putting together and we're asking folks to get involved with that or you can um uh you know share through the text line at 512-337-3776 or via social media using again hashtag horn hs so just inviting the listeners to be interactive uh through um the social media out there on on the games as we're covering them tonight but uh great job to the horns Special thanks to Aaron Hogan, Craig Way, Lee Hudson, and all the staff here at the Horn for allowing Texas Sports Monthly and and um, the Friday Night Countdown here on Horn FM. So, Steve, let's recap what happened last night a little bit, uh, yeah, some we, of the games. We had some Thursday night games, nothing major, uh, no college game day type stuff going on, you know. <laughs> uh, but let's go, we'll start. Vandegrift beat Colleen Ellison 14-0. The Vipers pitch a shutout for the second straight week to open the season. You know, we talked about Vandegrift's defense last year all the time when we were on the other station. They were arguably the first or second best defense in the city. But that defense never pitched a shutout last year. 
And now this year, they've started off with two straight donuts to start off the season. Wow. So, man, they could be even better. That's a scary thought for everyone else in District 13 6A. Did so Coach Sanders, how many guys did he lose on, on that roster last season? Uh, they lost uh, probably like half their starters, you know, and uh, some big guys. Spencer Jones, their, their middle yeah. linebacker, went to Army. Uh, also, uh, Reese Watson, a, a cornerback. Who uh, he he was a menace. Uh, he he was gone too. But they they brought a lot of guys back too. Jackson McCauley had a really big game last week against Cedar Park, and uh, yeah, they're they're just uh, they they could be they're looking even better on defense they this got year, some dudes. which is which is very scary. Um, and, and and clearly they they're comfortable winning games with their defense and just keeping the ball on the ground. They ran thirty nine times and threw just sixteen passes. Uh, Drew Dawson had one hundred twenty three yards and a touchdown through the air, sixty one yards on the ground. Bowen Lewis, 91 yards and a touchdown rushing. And Trey Mongalzi, their star receiver, had seven catches for 74 yards and a touchdown. Elsewhere, Pflugerville beat Leander 27-20. Elijah Oakman, the sophomore running back with Division I potential for Pflugerville, had 101 yards on 19 carries. But it was Jalen Reeves who had four touchdowns, three rushing, one passing. Uh, that that was really helped Pflugerville get this W. He was 9 for 11, throwing the ball for 79 yards. Leander got 93 yards and three touchdowns over to Xavier Dotson, but it was not enough. Pflugerville just had, did a better job moving the ball uh, down the field consistently. They actually tripled Leander in the amount of first downs, 24 first downs to just eight for Leander. Oh, wow. So a uh, big win for Charles Taylor in his second year at Pflugerville. He, uh, for those of y'all that follow high school football closely, he was the head coach for McCallum two years ago that led them that magical state semifinal mm-hmm. run. You know, first year they had the reset. This is the year. Year two is usually the year where you, you start seeing some something happen. You know, yeah. And so uh, they're now even at one and one. They lost to Bowie last week, and then for Leander. Uh, they are one of the schools with a new head coach this year, Chris Price, who comes from the DFW area, and uh, they lost last week to. Weiss. Yes, yes. Getting uh, their first win. Yeah, they, they still, they got some, they got a ways to go. I mean, this is a program that numbers have kind of been down recently. And so uh, Chris Price, he's got to get participation up. But this is a guy who's very highly touted. I mean, in the DFW area, he is very well respected. In fact, uh, Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine, they had like a 40 under 40 thing, uh, like, you know, 40 coaches under 40. That, mm-hmm. And Chris Price was, was one of the coaches that they uh, that they listed there. Um, so, uh, uh even though they're owing two, but just wait, just wait. The Lions, the Lions will be back. The Lions will roar once again. <laughs> um, Vista Ridge beat Colleen 51 29. Uh, Kyle Brown had six t- total touchdowns, four passing, two rushing, was 20 29 for 269 yards. Also rushed 51 yards. Adam Fogg was his top receiver. Six catches for 106 and a touchdown. Vista Ridge now 2 0. They beat Leander Rouse week 127 6. You know, Vista Ridge and Vandegrift, uh, they, they're both Leander schools. Both had a lot of success at the 5A level. They moved to 6A a couple years ago. Vandegrift has been able to sustain that success at the 6A level, but Vista yeah. Ridge has not. They, they've been below 500 every year since moved to 6A. Hopefully this will be the year they start picking it up. Maybe this is the year they start showing up at uh, at 6A. Uh, both the Bashop schools were in play last night. Cedar Creek beat Aikens 34-14. Ty Pruitt had 319 yards and four touchdowns on 18 of 31 passing. Also rushed for a touchdown. His top receiver was Javon Livingston. Seven catches, 153 yards, three touchdowns. This is a pretty close game at halftime. Uh, it was only 13-12 in favor of, of Cedar Creek, but the Eagles shut the Eagles. Oh, this is Eagles on Eagles. I just realized it was an eagle, eagle on eagle crime. That, that just hit me. Um, they shut out Aikens the rest of the way with a defense that features uh, defensive lineman Alfred Collins, who might be playing at UT next year. This guy, he's a 6'5", 275-pound defensive lineman who has offers from a lot of big schools. Nice. And then at linebacker Kate Edwards, he was the defending district MVP. Um, and then Pruitt, meanwhile, threw touchdowns of 22, 30, and 50 yards in the second half to lead Cedar Creek to what turned out to be an easy victory. Also, Bastrop beat Northeast Early College 24-0, a defense led by Tyron Smith at linebacker and safety Faison Madison held, held Northeast to 36 yards on 39 plays. That is less than a yard per play. Oh my! That is unbelievable. That, that is <laughs> that is destruction. And uh, Austin Travis lost to Waco University 54-7. Well, I think um, these games that are coming up tonight, we have uh, Round Walk, Westwood versus Austin. Um, that vers- that varsity team taking on Austin, I believe that one. Is that at House Park? Uh, yes. Oh, no, I have at Westwood. Is that at Westwood? I wrote, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. No, no, no. But we got Glenn versus yeah. McNeil. Yeah, it's at Austin. You're right. Yeah, that is it downtown. Is at House Park. That'll House be a fun Park. game. Hey, if you're in for points... 
if you're in for quarterbacks just just wheeling and dealing, going down the field. You want some offense? Check you, that game at House you Park. You will love this game, man. I mean, Austin High's got Charles Wright, an Iowa State commit, who threw for 347 yards and four touchdowns last week. Westwood, meanwhile, with R.J. Martinez, 392 yards and three scores. Well, we are going to go ahead and get ready for the whip around um, coming up next with Kit McConico brought to you by Howdy Honda. And those guys will be back after the break. And there will be more high school football right here on the Friday Night Countdown. This is 104.9 The Horn. Set on the shores of Lake LBJ in the Texas Hill Country, Escondido has consistently been ranked in Texas' top 10 golf courses by the esteemed Dallas Morning News. Escondido, located within an hour west of Austin and north of San Antonio, with superb golf conditions and no tea time culture, plus exceptional service and the amenities of the Lake Club with heated pool, marina on Lake LBJ, an impressive clubhouse hosting live music every weekend. Escondido, a private lakeside golf preserve, just minutes away. Find out more at EscondidoTexas.com. Uptown Cheapskate has athletic wear and a lot more at amazing prices. Lululemon, Nike, Adidas, all your favorite brands. Save money and save the planet with sustainable fashion. Buy, sell, trade. 3005 South Lamar by Torchy's Tacos and Kirby Lane. That's Uptown Cheapskate. What's for Lunch is a full-service catering company specializing in family-style lunches for businesses in the Austin area. Catering breakfast, lunch, dinner, and afternoon snacks for special events, training seminars, tailgate parties, conferences, birthdays, celebrations, cocktail parties, local businesses, South by Southwest day parties, private parties, sports banquets, and much more. Think outside the lunchbox when you ask yourself, what's for lunch? That's What's for Lunch Corporate Catering. Call them today at 512-388-6062. That's 388-6062. Or place your order online at whatsforlunchaustin.com. Napa Flats is an honored sponsor of Texas high school football. Serving hand-tossed pizza, homemade gelato, beverages on tap, and of course, fresh and innovative eats. All cooked in an open kitchen. Experience dining the wood-fired way. Napa Flats, 8300 North FM 620, or online at napaflats.com. So Solana Ranch is home for your game hunting this fall. Dove, white-tailed deer, hog, turkey, and other Texas game. Contact family-owned Solana Ranch. Just 45 minutes from Austin on over 9,000 acres. Visit family-owned Solana Ranch in Salado, Texas. SolanaRanch.com. Sendero Homes, a proud sponsor of high school football in Austin, Westlake, and Lakeway for a quarter of a century. Texas Ranch Homes, Italian-style villas, cutting-edge contemporaries, and all the transitional blends in between. For unique custom homes, turn to the pros at Sendero Homes. SenderoHomes.com. Rock Solid Decorative Coatings is a proud sponsor of Central Texas High School football, specializing in outdoor living, gazebos, and patios for your home or business. Turn to the pros at Rock Solid. Rock Solid specializes in repairing your concrete project or flooring system from damage. Your team needs a Rock Solid defense to win championships, so why not call the winning professionals at Rock Solid Decorative Coatings today, 512-244-3612, or visit them online at TexasRockSolidCoatings.com. Hey, Ghost Pete. I am feeling thirsty. Hey, Ghost Pete. I could use a frosted beverage right now. Natural Tea and Soda Company. Yeah! Riding out of Dripping Springs, here to quench your hill country thirst. Pecos Pete's menu includes a wide assortment of collectible mugs, including unlimited daily refills of Pecos Pete's craft beverages. Pecos Pete's root beer loving delicious soda brewing legacy lives on in their line of natural sodas and teas. Made in Texas from a secret recipe, the way Pecos Pete would have wanted it. With actual kegs of craft tea and soda like root beer, sweet tea, lemonade, huckleberry, and oh, so much more. Get your collectible stainless steel mug with the horn logo on it. Bring your mug back to any tailgate and pay only five bucks for daily unlimited refills. Pecos Pete's in Dripping Springs and online at PecosPeteSoda.com. Pecos Pete's, get your mug on. This is Scott Crossett with Apple Commercial Leasing. That's right, Apple Commercial Leasing, the home of the unlimited mileage commercial lease and so much more. Are you looking for a smarter, more cost-effective way to handle your company vehicles? Do you need customized work trucks? Are you looking for ways to cut your transportation cost? Look to Apple Commercial Leasing for the quick, accurate solutions. For business owners large and small, the unlimited mileage lease offers you tax advantages, cash flow savings, low to no out-of-pocket expenses, no dealership hassles, and fast and friendly service. From light-duty trucks to medium-duty trucks, even commercial specialty vehicles, buses, even 18-wheelers, we can do it all. Experience the Apple Advantage. Give us the opportunity to bid, and you'll never regret it. 
Call for free quotes at 335-3273-33 Lease or click 33lease.com. That's 335-3273. We will save you and your company time and money. Like sports, business is about winning. Championship decisions are business decisions based on what it takes to help your company win. And that's why there's UBO Business Services, specializing in helping you win every day by streamlining workflow and allowing you to better communicate within your organization and with your customers. Make your championship decision with UBO Business Services. Visit them at ubeo.com. Great people, great service, endless possibilities. This is Kit McConico, and it's time Texas to go Sports around the Monthly region Friday and hear night. from the guys who. Will... This is Kit McConico, and it's time to go around the region and hear from the guys who will call tonight's games. It's the Friday Football Countdown Central Texas High School Football Whip Around, powered by Howdy Honda. Al Spader reporting from Kelly Reeves Stadium here in Round Rock as the Glen Grizzlies will be facing the McNeil Mavericks tonight in a game featuring two teams looking for their first win of the season. Last week, the Grizzlies had a tough time keeping up with the Liberty Hill team that ran for 456 yards en route to a 41-3 dominating performance that saw the Grizzlies rush for just 43 yards on the ground. Tonight, they look to get their ground game back rolling and continue to spread the ball to Jarvis Henderson, Kobe Sorrell, and the rest of their very fast skilled players. This one has all the makings of an offensive shootout tonight. Kickoff set for 7.30. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Adam Wagner on the call. Up here at Gupton Stadium for a matchup between Cedar Ridge and Cedar Park. Individually, we're looking at a dandy here between Shelby Battles, the middle linebacker for Cedar Park, for Duke Vaughn, the halfback sensation for the Cedar Ridge Raiders. We'll have a call coming from me live from Duffy Stadium after the game. I'm Stephen Cavill reporting from Tiger Field in Belton, Texas, where the Round Rock Dragons finished their non-distance schedule against mm-hmm. the Belton Tigers. Last week, what about step forward? This is for 233 yards and two touchdowns, as well as wide receivers Colin Sullivan and Jordan Smart, who combined for four touchdowns, proves that the offense is still as close as last year. The defense looks improved, led by senior Stephen McDowell, Trey McCarty and sophomore Savoy uh, Donaldson, who combined for 24 of the team's 41 recorded solo tackles. They look to take another step in the right direction tonight against the Tigers here in Belt. Rodney Rodriguez from Historic House Park in downtown Austin. The Westwood Warriors look to bounce back from a season opening overtime loss at home. The Warriors will face a mirror image of themselves in the high powered Austin High Maroon. This has instant classic written all over it, and whoever has the ball last could win. It'll be a great chess match between Westwood's Anthony Woods and Austin High's Mike Rosenthal. We'll have it on the Horn Webcast Network, powered by IHS Fans. It's the Central Texas High School Whip Around, brought to you by Howdy Honda, your low price, express purchase, friendly home for Honda. All right, there's our friendly whip around. Liked it. Loved it. All right, guys. Good job. Just checking in from the uh, stadium sound there. Uh, brought to you by Howdy Honda. So, a uh, good segment there. Check these games out, guys. Uh, I know you're driving to the stadium. You're already out there tailgating or head ready to fill those stands up. But, uh, man, it is good to, to, to be in football season. It's, it's the best time of the year, man. I mean... I don't really have else to say. You know, it's just great. And I I love all sports. I'm a big basketball fan, big golf guy, but football is mm, football's the best, dude. Well, you know, every week we do a segment here on the Friday Night Countdown here as part of our Texas Sports Monthly programming here. Our Coach's Corner uh, brought to you by What's for Lunch. We do that later in the program uh, tonight. And then we have the um, Texas Sports Monthly Player of the Week uh, brought to you by Sendero Homes. And and there's an interesting connection with this uh, week's Player of the Week that you did as a uh, Landon Watson, the defensive end, is committed to LSU from yes. the defensive end from Hutto. Yes, he is. For Coach Brad LaPlante. So yeah. um, I guess uh, we'll set this up. Uh, how was this interview going with him? Oh, I mean, it was good. You know, I talked to Landon before. You know, he, he's one of the best defensive linemen in the state. And uh, the, thing, the, thing, and we'll, the thing with him and we'll get to about Hutto is he's not the only D1 defensive lineman they have. Uh, they have also have Lordswell Uwe and Braylon Sugg, who uh, and you'll hear in the interview – uh, Landon says also has special talent, so there, there, there's no one you can really key on on that Hutto defensive line. This week, our game of the week is um, Liberty Hill hosting Hutto. That game of the week, we'll go into that uh, and talk about that game and that matchup here after the segment. But let's go ahead and and fire off uh, our um, La- uh, Landon Watson uh, player of the week, Sendero Holmes player of the week here on the Friday Night Countdown. 
Sendero Homes, a proud sponsor of high school football in Austin, Westlake, and Lakeway for a quarter of a century. Texas Ranch Homes, Italian-style villas, cutting-edge contemporaries, and all the transitional blends in between. For unique custom homes, turn to the pros at Sendero Homes. SenderoHomes.com. Time for Texas Sports Monthly's Player of the Week. Hey, y'all. This is Stephen Ryan, and you're listening to our Player of the Week interview presented by Sendero. This week, we got Huddle defensive end Landon Watson. Landon, last year y'all counted on your offense more to help you win games. But with mass departures on that side of the ball and lots of experience returning on your side of the ball, it looks like the defense will have to carry some more weight. As one of the leaders of the defense, how do you feel about that responsibility? Oh, well, we definitely, it definitely starts with practice. Got to get these guys, everybody running at the ball, everybody communicating, everybody staying on their P's and Q's, everybody watching the film, and just everybody playing together. As the LSU commit on the defensive line, everyone wants to talk about your contributions. But you actually have two great battery mates in Lordswell Ua and Braylon Sugg. Tell me about each of those guys bringing the table and how y'all work together on the defensive line. Well, uh, to start off, both of those guys are definitely Division One players, and they help me a lot because most of the time when we play an opponent, I'm maybe getting keyed or Lordswell maybe getting keyed, and if they're taking me out of the play, then they get to eat, and it's vice versa. It works that way. And they... They're definitely a big, a big contribution to me on the defensive line. Chase Griffin, y'all star core from last year, is now playing at UCLA. The new quarterback is a young sophomore named Grayson Doggett. How do you feel about the way he's come in and, and led y'all's offense so far? I think he did a, an amazing job coming in and learning the stuff right away and getting straight to it. He, like, he played this past weekend as if he was playing for the past couple years. He makes a bad play, he forgets about it, and he moves on. That's good for a quarterback to have, and I think he should do a really good job this season. Last question. This week, y'all play Liberty Hill in their vaunted slot T offense. As a defensive lineman, how would you describe the challenge of going up against that kind of system, and how do you feel, feel about the matchup this Friday? Uh, it's definitely going to be a good matchup. They have their offense full go, coming off the ball, firing off, so that's going to challenge our defensive line to come off the ball, firing off. And we just got to play smart and stay home and do our assignment. Well, Land, that's all I got for you. Thanks for your time and good luck on Friday. Yes, sir. Thank you. The Friday Night Countdown Player of the Week, brought to you by Sendero Homes. Anyway, that's Landon Watson there, the defensive end. Committed to LSU, uh, so he's uh, he's going to be in good company this weekend. Yes, and this is going to be a huge game. So this is my third year kind of doing high school football in the Central Texas area. And last year's Huddle Liberty Hill game was the best game I have ever been to since since doing this in Austin. Uh, Huddle won 52-51 in overtime. Teams combined for more than 1,000 yards. But most of the guys that produced those yards are gone. Both teams returned just three starters on offense. Uh, Liberty Hill had to say goodbye to the running back Kyle Harrison, who had over 2,000 yards. And Huddle had to say goodbye to their leader, Chase Griffin, the quarterback, who's now at UCLA. Um, now, I did see Huddle play last week. Uh, they beat West Mesquite on Saturday, 41-21. The new quarterback, Grayson Doggett, uh, did not get up to the start you would have liked. His first pass, he threw late on a short out route. It was picked off from turning the 8-yard line. West mm. Mesquite scored in the next play, taking an early 7-0 lead. But he, he rebounded nicely, finished 19-26, 278 yards, yeah. one touchdown. And when you talk to uh, uh, Coach Brad LaPlante, he, he mentions all the time that this Grayson Doggett kid, he does not he's not a sophomore. Like Mentally, he is not a sophomore. He, he is mature beyond his age. And you kind of saw that there. He was also helped by a great run game. Uh, Makai Kimball, 19 carries for 148 yards and three touchdowns. Man, I I, I underestimate him going coming into the season. 265 uh, yards. Uh, well, he he Kimball himself for for Doggett, you mean? Yeah, for Doggett. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, the, the real story, however, was the defense. Uh, the only time West Missy scored against the first string defense of Hutto was on that drive that started on Hutto's eight yard line. Uh, the rest of the time, when Hutto's first string defense was on the field, uh, they got nothing. They even got in on the scoring. Jordan Phoenix intercepted a tip pass and returned 43 yards for a touchdown. Um, while no one really stood out in the box score, it's notable that West Mesquite just could not get anything in the middle. They had only 82 total yards in the first three quarters. Now, in the fourth quarter, they, 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 they got some points against the second string defense, but mm-hmm. when Hutto's number one defense was, was on the field, West Mesquite did absolutely nothing. Uh, Liberty Hill, meanwhile, dominated Leander Glenn 41 13. Uh, like the Panthers usually do, they had three rushers go for over 100 yards. Junior Blake Simpson had 190 yards and one touchdown. Nash Robinson had 105 and two scores. Trey Seward had 115 and one touchdown. And uh, this will be a fun game. Uh, 
Well, you know, last year's game, I, I regret that, Steve, I didn't go to that game, and you went, and that thing went to a 52-51 tussle, uh, double overtime. I think uh, Hutto only won it because Liberty Hill missed the opportunity on the two-point conversion, right. and Hutto converted, thus getting the 52-51 win. Coach Jeff Walker and Liberty Hill, those Panthers are going to be ready for some revenge tonight, hosting this one in Liberty Hill Uh, That should be a good one. That's our game of the week. Stick around. After the break, we're going to do the coach's corner and uh, maybe do a fit in a little fourth and long and our big shot shout out. We'll be doing that on the other side of the break. This is the Friday Night Countdown on 104.9 The Horn. Solana Ranch is home for your game hunting this fall. Dove, white-tailed deer, hog, turkey, and other Texas game. Contact family-owned Solana Ranch, just 45 minutes from Austin, on over 9,000 acres. Visit family-owned Solana Ranch in Salado, Texas. SolanaRanch.com. What's for Lunch is a full-service catering company specializing in family-style lunches for businesses in the Austin area. Catering breakfast, lunch, dinner, and afternoon snacks for special events, training seminars, tailgate parties, conferences, birthdays, celebrations, cocktail parties, local businesses, South by Southwest day parties, private parties, sports banquets, and much more. Think outside the lunchbox when you ask yourself what's for lunch. That's What's for Lunch Corporate Catering. Call them today at 512-388-6062. That's 388-6062. Or place your order online at whatsforlunchaustin.com. The Oasis of Lake Travis wants to invite you out for a sunset and dinner this September. As your summer comes to a close and the kids get back into the routine of school, bring the family out for dinner and take in the breathtaking sunsets right here at Lake Travis. Best known as the sunset capital of Texas, the Oasis offers fine dining, live music and adult beverages. Bring the kids or leave them at home and spend some quality time alone. Wishing you and your family a safe and happy closure to your summer as we gear up for the games this fall. Proudly supporting Central Texas student athletes, the Oasis on Lake Travis, the sunset capital of Texas. Sendero Homes, a proud sponsor of high school football in Austin, Westlake and Lakeway for a quarter of a century. Texas Ranch Homes, Italian style villas, cutting edge contemporaries and all the transitional blends in between. For unique custom homes, turn to the pros at Sendero Homes. SenderoHomes.com Jason's Deli has something great for everyone. Fan favorites are the Garden Fresh Salad Bar, Reuben and Deli Cowboy. Feeding school spirit, it's a family thing at Jason's Deli Lakeway. Open every day right down the street from Lake Travis High School. Maltese's is a light chocolatey treat that looks on the light side. So we salute how you Texans respond to the horrible traffic on I-35. In New York, that kind of traffic can lead to a... Watch where you're going, idiot! In L.A., we might get a bit of... Do you even know how to drive? But in Texas, we often get a polite wave and a surprisingly friendly... Y'all go on ahead now, okay? You help us look on the light side of traffic, Texas. So we brought our light chocolatey Maltesers to return the favor. You can find them at HEB. Maltesers, look on the light side. Drive safe now. Taron Hogan for John McClellan and Supreme Lending. Did you know that interest rates have been cut by over a full point in the last nine months? Which means now is the time to buy a home if you've been putting it off. A house that was out of range is now financially back on the table thanks to these lower interest rates. If you financed your home in the last two years and you're paying over 4.5%, you need to call John McClellan now. Qualified buyers can get rates in the threes and save tens of thousands of dollars with one simple phone call. And that call is to my friend John McClellan and Supreme Lending, the mortgage expert I recommend, Supreme lending loans close on an average of under 23 days. Also, local real estate agents trust John McClellan. That'll give you the edge in a competitive market with that Supreme Lending pre-approval. The real estate agents know there are no surprises. It's a fast close, giving you the edge in this red-hot market. Oh, and John and his team live here. They love Austin. They're local. They give back to their communities and the neighbors they serve. Call John and his team today. 512-361-4717. That's 512-361-4717. Or simply online. JohnMcClellan.com. That's JohnMcClellan.com. License number 207768-3520. Executive Center Drive, Austin, Texas. You won't use Zelle to repay me for the Renaissance Fair tickets because it's not historically accurate? <laughs> Wench, please. Split better. Request money with Zelle. Look for Zelle in your banking app. Must have a bank account in the U.S. to use Zelle. Zelle is an early warning services trademark. Volunteer for the psych department experiment, they said. Easy money, they said. Maybe they should have said, use Zelle to ask mom for the money, but ah, next time. Back to school better. Send money to your college kid with Zelle. Look for Zelle in your banking app. Terms and conditions apply. Fall is all about color. So is Vigoro Colored Mulch at the Home Depot. Right now at Labor Day savings of five bags for just 10 bucks. Vigoro is 100% natural shredded wood in three beautiful shades. It beautifies your garden while retaining moisture. And at this low price, it also looks great on your budget. 
Today is the day for doing with Labor Day savings on Vigoro Mulch, five bags, just 10 bucks. Now at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Selection varies by store. Car won't start? Squeaky brakes? Oil change? Ominous check engine light on? Hey, Chris Jacobs from Motor Trend here, and I'm telling you, don't waste your weekend going to the shop when the shop can come to you. Schedule now at Wrench.com. Yep, Wrench Mobile Mechanics. Certified mobile mechanics with five-star reviews that will do just about any job the dealership will do, and they're guaranteed cheaper. Any make, any model, they come to you. Home or work, where and when it's convenient, seven days a week. Go to Wrench.com, you'll see their live calendar, and just schedule what's best for you. They back up all services with a 12-month, 12,000-mile warranty. So get your free quote right now at Wrench.com. Oh, and through the end of the month, get 20% off your first service when you go to Wrench.com and enter promo code RADIO. Or call 888-260-6458. That's 888-260-6458. Save time, save money. Drop the shop. Wrench. What's for lunch is a full-service catering company specializing in family-style lunches for businesses in the Austin area. Catering breakfast, lunch, dinner, and afternoon snacks for special events, training seminars, tailgate parties, conferences, birthdays, celebrations, cocktail parties, local businesses, South by Southwest day parties, private parties, sports banquets, and much more. Think outside the lunchbox when you ask yourself, what's for lunch? That's What's for Lunch Corporate Catering. Call them today at 512-388-6062. That's 388-6062. Or place your order online at whatsforlunchaustin.com. It's the Coach's Corner. Hey, y'all. This is Stephen Ryan. I have Drew Sanders of Vandegrift with me this week. Coach, y'all had a breakthrough season last year, going undefeated for the first time in school history and reaching the third round of the playoffs for the first time as a 6A program. How much confidence does that give y'all as a program, and how important is confidence when going through the grind of a three- to four-month high school football season? You know, I mean, it's definitely nice to do what we did, um, but at the same time, I think every good program understands that last year was last year. Um, and so while we appreciate that and are, and are thankful for for the fun memories and the things we did, um, you know, now we got to do it again. And so uh, that's, that's on my mind and on our team's mind. This is a new team. This is a new year, and uh, let's go make our own how do you feel about the matchup, and what's it like scouting and game planning for an opponent with you know a number of new players who might not have as much tape or as lengthy of scouting reports uh, on? Well, you know, one of my main things is that we want to get better in our pre-district schedule. You know, it's going to be a great game. They're an amazing program, obviously, with all the state championships they've won and winning tradition. And so you find out real quick where your problems are and where your our strengths are, and we need to figure that out before we get into our district, because our district is is really tough. And also, same every every year, it's, you don't know much about the opponent. You, you know, you got the tape from last year, but guys improve, guys move away, there's move-ins, there's all new schemes. So that's one of the exciting things about being a coach, too, is it's never the same. All right, Coach, well, that's all I got for you. Thanks for your time, and good luck on Friday. Okay, thank you, guys. See you <laughs> It's the Coach's Corner, brought to you by What's for Lunch Catering. All right, welcome back to the Friday Night Countdown. Uh, good stuff from Coach Sanders there and Vandegraaff. Um, and, and they went out and kicked some butt last week after that interview took place. They, <laughs> shutting out Cedar Park 17-0. Go, dating back to last year's matchup, they have now shut out the Timberwolves in seven of eight quarters played. That is unbelievable wow. to do that to a program like Cedar Park. Wow, and they uh, won again last night, so uh, they're right looking forward to a great game against Cedar Cedar Ridge next yeah, week. Cedar Ridge next week. That's that will be probably be one. our game of the week next week. Yeah, that more will probably than likely. Be, yeah, that's going to be a very good one. Um, well, let's th- finish talking about that game of the week we had. You yeah, know, Liberty, Liberty Hill. Hill. You know, uh, their defense also put together a really uh, a really good effort, holding holding Glenn to just 287 total yards. They allowed more than 400 last year. Junior linebacker Drake Obermiller had 11 tackles and two tackles for a loss, and sophomore linebacker Andon Thomas had eight tackles, two tackles for a loss, and an interception. Um, and, and this is a game, I honestly, I wasn't sure Liberty Hill would win their week one game. I mean, Glenn is a bigger school. Liberty Hill was replacing, you know, almost their entire offensive line. You know, you got to have Maulers run that well, they slot lost a bunch of They lost some dudes yeah, uh, but last they, year. They came out and delivered a butt-kicking to, to Leander Glenn. So that says a lot about Liberty Hill. But how do you feel if this game will play out, this Huddle-Liberty Hill game? Well, let's pick that, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be 
the underdog, I guess I, I'm going to root for the underdog, which I think is the smaller school yes, in Liberty Hill. So I'm, I'm going to go with Liberty Hill just because I think they got a little payback uh, that they owe for that uh, uh, game last year. Uh-huh. I missed that game last year. Again, it was uh, 50 one to 52, 50, 51, 52, yeah. 51. I, I'm not going to miss it this year, so we will be there. <laughs> I've got uh, crew, yourself, myself, our photographers will be there. Uh, so I'm going with that one in a close one again, maybe 41, 35. Yeah, I, I think Cotto's going to get this one. I, I think their defensive line is going to be more prepared for that slot T offense this year, and uh, they're going to be able to get some stops, just enough. And I, I think I'll go uh, you know, 41, 28. I'm going to say they're going to score a little more than 28, only because they're at home, and the <laughs> Panthers fans are going to be hot and ready for that one. All right, let's jump over to Lake Travis versus Martin tonight here on the Horn. Well, no, this. they played Mansfield Timberview. Martin that's right. beat them, though, last week. Yes, that's what I meant. 35 in what was the upset of week one. Definitely was an upset. Uh, and they lost by 21. It wasn't even really that close. Now, uh, first look, this looks like a really bad loss for Lake Travis because Martin had a losing record last year. But when you dig deeper, Martin, that was a – an uncharacteristically bad season for Martin last year. In fact, they've won 10 games six of the last nine seasons. That was their first yeah, they're not season a, in 10 They years. are a good squad. So they're a good program. Uh, the big issue for Lake Travis, uh, well, I mean, it was tied 14 at a half, but they got nothing in the second half. Uh, Hudson Card completed only six of 19 passes. Part of that was they had absolutely no run game. And, you know, when you have a run game, uh, it makes it harder to, to throw the ball. And, you know, they had a big preseason injury. Tight end Lake McCree, who's a U- University of Texas commit, uh, was supposed to be a big part of their scheme this year. He tore his ACL, and uh, they just don't have that number one weapon. And also, when when a key player goes down like that, that can just have a devastating effect on the team's morale. Well, and I wonder how much of an issue that was because they, you, they just got out physical in this game, from what, what I read. What do you think about this Timberview team coming to, to coming so into Lake Travis? They tonight? lost last week, seventy seven forty seven, to a team from Oklahoma, a state champion from Oklahoma. Um, but they uh, they're they're a solid team, man. I mean, they actually have uh, um, they have two FBS commits on offense. Um, Jaden Hullaboy, he'll play all over the field. He's going to UT, and running back Stacy Sneed is headed to Colorado. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Carter actually told the Austin American Statesman that this team they're playing this week is more physical and bigger on the offensive line than the team they played last week. So they're, Lake Travis is very much in danger of dropping to 0-2 tonight. Well, the thing is, I know that they've got a good history with Coach Carter. When he goes 0-1, he ends up in the state title yeah, game. Yeah, I didn't know that. You yeah, told me that before the show. I, I, yeah, the last few years when they lost week one, they end up uh, you know, winning against uh, the Houston team in 2016. They won the whole thing, and then in 2017 they lost to... Uh, an Allen, a very good Allen team. Uh, after the quarterback went down, um, but yeah, it's not um, well, it's not un- unrealistic for them to get back on top of the yeah. things uh, when you're coached by Coach and, Carter. But uh, uh, that team um, needs needs a big win tonight. Yeah, another team in danger of dropping to zero two is Cedar Park. They play Cedar Ridge tonight. As I said earlier, they got shut out by Vandegrift, and that's a team I'm actually more concerned about. Like I'm not really concerned about Lake Travis, but but Cedar Park. He, when it, when they built themselves into a state championship contender, they won state titles in 2015. Originally, they did it by running the ball and being physical on defense. When Max Sexton became the quarterback in 2015, they started moving away from that offensive scheme and started airing it out some more. But they seem to have lost their offensive identity. Their yard per carry averages over the last four years. 2015, 6.6. 2016, 5.9. 2017, 4.8. Last year, 3.7. And last week against Vandegrift, they had only two rushing yards on 24 carries. That's not going to cut it, man. That's gotta not going to cut it. Gotta you got to run gotta, the ball. So I, I just, What's I, going on with that black rain defense? Uh, well, they're still doing all right. I mean, they held they held Vandegrift to 17 points, so they're okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, but it'll be it'll be an interesting game. Uh, they, and they'll have to deal with a, a really good running back, Cedar Ridge Deuce Vaughn, in uh, the Raiders. They, they scored a big win last week, 35-29 over Temple. That was a revenge game for them. They lost by 20 to them last year. Deuce Vaughn led Cedar Ridge in rushing with 104 yards, read them in receiving with 76 yards and a touchdown on two catches, and also had a 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy is a dynamo. He can do <laughs> everything. And the defense also had a much better game as well. They had five interceptions of the Wildcats, and they did a much better 
better job at containing wide receiver Quentin Johnson, uh, the wide receiver for Temple. He is a University of Texas pledge. Man, we've, we've mentioned a few UT pledges on the yeah, show today. Yeah, uh, But he had four touchdowns and 200 yards against Cedar Ridge last year. But this time, Cedar Ridge held them to just four, four catches for 87 yards and a touchdown. Got a hand to uh, senior def- defensive back Gavin Dunn, who was a first-team All-District last year, and DeAndre Sterling, who has a couple of FCS offers. They did a much better job at containing the Wildcat attack. All right. Well, uh, man, this thing flies by. Let's do a quick big, by, man. big shot shout-out. Um, Holman Commercial Services High School Football Network. All let's see. I uh, wanted to do that big shot, but... Uh, yeah, the uh, a big shot shout out this week. Ezekiel Elliott agreed to the ninety million dollar contract. We've all seen this for for Cowboys fans. The contract makes him the highest paid guy uh, running back in the NFL. Uh, so uh, head uh, hats off to Ezekiel in the big shot shout out of the week. Fourth and long, I'm going Western Michigan over Michigan State, people. Western Michigan over Michigan State. On Write your, it down. Your fourth and long. My fourth and long. Uh, what's a good one? I'm going sticking with just my one earlier. Let's go. Let's go A&M. Pick A&M. A&M. Pick A&M. All right. There you go. All right. It's the Friday Night Countdown. Thanks so much for tuning in. Up next, Mark Hogan and the guys in the Lake Travis Cavs. Up next, it's the Friday Night Countdown on the Horn. Thank you for listening to the Texas Sports Monthly Friday Night Countdown. Presented by the ABC Home and Commercial Services High School Football Network. Also brought to you by American Water Connecticut, Factory Mattress, Round Rock Honda, Round Rock Hyundai, Round Rock Toyota, RV Outlet Mall, Dr. Craig Eckert, Austin Billiards, Qualtech Automotive, Sharp Vision Modern LASIK, Capital Chevrolet, Urology Austin, Whataburger, Thriving Financial, Vandegrift High School, Inner Space Cavern, Thomas J. Henry, Mack Hike Ford Lincoln, Total Men's, RV Outlet Mall, UFCU, Central Texas Honda Dealers, and Tires to You. From the UBO Business Services Studios, you're listening to KTXX FM and HD1 BK, KTAE AM Elgin, K270CO Round Rock. Block parties, cookouts, friendships that last a lifetime. We all have special memories from the neighborhoods we grew up in. With Bank of America's Community Home Ownership Commitment, you and your family can make some new ones. Bank of America wants to help you buy your first home with a grant, not a loan, with down payment assistance. You could get 3% of your purchase price or up to $10,000, whichever is less. Stop by your local Bank of America Financial Center or bankofamerica.com forward slash homeowner for more info. Bank of America, NA, equal housing lender, credit and collateral are subject to approval. Restrictions apply. This is not a commitment to lend. Horns fans, Mr. Tramp Sports Pub invites all Longhorns fans to the game every Saturday. Get a free appetizer during the game when wearing Horns gear. When three or more Horns fans show up to Mr. Tramp's to watch the game, receive free wings or any appetizer. Mr. Tramp's with great food, huge screens with sound, daily drink specials, and the best happy hour in North Austin. Mr. Tramp Sports Pub, your headquarters for college football this season. 183 at Fairfield Lane, where North Austin goes for sports. MrTramps.com. Mr. Tramp's. Jason's Deli has something great for everyone. Fan favorites are the Garden Fresh Salad Bar, Reuben and Deli Cowboy. Feeding school spirit, it's a family thing at Jason's Deli Lakeway. Open every day right down the street from Lake Travis High School. Rock Solid Decorative Coatings is a proud sponsor of Central Texas High School football, specializing in outdoor living, gazebos, and patios for your home or business. Turn to the pros at Rock Solid. Rock Solid specializes in repairing your concrete project or flooring system from damage. Your team needs a rock solid defense to win championships so why not call the winning professionals at rock solid decorative coatings today 512-244-3612 or visit them online at texasrocksolidcoatings.com set on the shores of lake lbj in the texas hill country escondido has consistently been ranked in texas top 10 golf courses by the esteemed dallas morning news escondido located within an hour west of austin and north of san antonio with superb golf conditions and no tea time culture plus exceptional service and the amenities of the Lake Club with heated pool marina on Lake LBJ, an impressive clubhouse hosting live music every weekend. Escondido, a private lakeside golf preserve, just minutes away. Find out more at EscondidoTexas.com. Uptown Cheapskate has athletic wear and a lot more at amazing prices. Lululemon, Nike, Adidas, all your favorite brands. Save money and save the planet with sustainable fashion. Buy, sell, trade. 3005 South Lamar by Torchy's Tacos and Kirby Lane. That's Uptown Cheapskate.
The Oasis of Lake Travis wants to invite you out for a sunset and dinner this September. As your summer comes to a close and the kids get back into the routine of school, bring the family out for dinner and take in the breathtaking sunsets right here at Lake Travis. Best known as the sunset capital of Texas, the Oasis offers fine dining, live music, and adult beverages. Bring the kids or leave them at home and spend some quality time alone. Wishing you and your family a safe and happy closure to your summer as we gear up for the games this fall. Proudly supporting Central Texas student athletes, the Oasis on Lake Travis, the sunset capital of Texas. Horns fans, Mr. Tramp Sports Pub invites all Longhorns fans to the game every Saturday. Get a free appetizer during the game when wearing Horns gear. When three or more Horns fans show up to Mr. Tramps to watch the game, receive free wings or any appetizer. Mr. Tramps with great food, huge screens with sound, daily drink specials, and the best happy hour in North Austin. Mr. Tramps Sports Pub, your headquarters for college football this season. 183 at Fairfield Lane, where North Austin goes for sports. MrTramps.com. Mr. Tramps. Car won't start? Squeaky brakes? Oil change? Ominous check engine light on? Hey, Chris Jacobs from Motor Trend here, and I'm telling you, don't waste your weekend going to the shop when the shop can come to you. Schedule now at Wrench.com. Yep, Wrench Mobile Mechanics. Certified mobile mechanics with five-star reviews that will do just about any job the dealership will do, and they're guaranteed cheaper. Any make, any model, they come to you. Home or work, where and when it's convenient, seven days a week. Go to Wrench.com, you'll see their live calendar, and just schedule what's best for you. They back up all services with a 12-month, 12,000-mile warranty. So get your free quote right now at Wrench.com. Oh, and through the end of the month, get 20% off your first service when you go to Wrench.com and enter promo code RADIO. Or call 888-260-6458. That's 888-260-6458. Save time, save money. Drop the shop. Wrench.com. Memories. It's just one of the things we make at In-N-Out that isn't on the menu. Family days, we would come to In-N-Out, just hang out. From the milkshakes to the hamburgers, the cheeseburgers, the double-doubles, that was a treat for us. It will always remind me of California. The best In-N-Out memories, soccer games on Saturdays. Win or lose, we would still get In-N-Out. Late nights with my girlfriend coming here in our pajamas. Nothing will stop me from getting In-N-Out. That's what I have. Lake Travis Cavaliers football is on the air. Brought to you by Austin BMW Centers, the A.J. Miller Group, F2 On Site, Golf Cart Zone, Obsequio Ventures, True Car, Acceleration Sports Performance, Back Design, Hill Country Indoor, Lexus of Lakeway, Sky Ridge Dental, Arbogast Homes, Evans Family Law, Firm Space, Jana Birdwell Realtor, Lakeway Vet, LTYA, Moreland Properties, Ramos Consulting, Serene Hills, Sing Orthodontics, Doug Wilkins CPA, Seven Custom Homes, Ranch Road Holdings, Stephen Covey, Austin Lakes Dentistry, Craig O's, Dorset Johnson and Swift, Lakeway Orthodontics, Morningstar Mini Storage, Plains Capital, Rudy's Barbecue, Scott Ramsey, The Print Shop, X Works, and By Wink. Here's the voice of the Lake Travis Cavaliers, Mark Honig. Start for the Cavaliers in week one, losing 35 14 at home to Arlington Martin. But that's the beauty of high school football. It's an early game that does not affect the district race. The same applies tonight against another team from the Metroplex, Mansfield Timberview. They say the biggest improvement all season comes between weeks one and two. We're about to find out. Hi again, everyone. Mark Hondage with the coach, Bucky Don Poltz, as we welcome you to Cavalier Stadium. Sweltering temperatures right around triple digits. And, Buck, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to talk about last week and the performance, and then we're moving on. Okay, I would agree with you, Mark. Last week was an abysmal performance by Lake Travis. They couldn't run, they couldn't tackle, they couldn't block. It's quite simple, and uh, as I said, you'll see, you said it, you'll see the biggest transition on a football team from game one to game two, and uh, hopefully they had a lot of guys that got engaged in practice this week and and tackled a little bit better, and I think you'll see a different different team this week. Well, this is a very talented opponent tonight. Uh, This offensive line is huge. The defensive line is huge. 
And it's kind of one of those teams that the Cavaliers have struggled with the last couple of years, a talented running game. They put up 556 total yards last week. They lost 77-47 to to a good team out of Oklahoma. But 342 rushing yards, I mean, that's a lot. Well, when you see, when you watch this team, Mark, once again, it's a, one of those good-looking football teams. When they get off the bus and they get in there and get into the locker room, they look fantastic. We saw that last week, as a matter of fact. Really good-looking athletes. You could tell not they were out here warming up. This is another group. Now, they're not as physically gifted, I don't believe, as what we saw last week. But they got some 6'3", 275, 6'3", 265, 6'2", 325 types on their offensive line. And that doesn't bowl well for what we saw last week with the Cavaliers having to try to get to a quarterback that's pretty talented here, a multi-talented quarterback, as a matter of fact. Running the ball? Yes. Let's talk about the Cavaliers running the ball. they got to get better. That they starts do. with the offensive line. It starts with the running backs. It starts with the quarterback. It start, it's the entire offense. Yeah, but we're supposed to be saying nice things tonight. Remember, we're, we're not supposed to be no, saying. I'm saying that they have to get better. Yeah, they do. I didn't say they were bad. I said they have to get better. Well, what has to happen? Somebody needs to separate themselves. And who wants to be the running back on this football team instead of having three guys that are running back? Who wants to be the guy? And you have to figure out a way to separate yourself away from, you know, splitting time with other guys. And maybe that'll be tonight. Maybe we'll see one of the three guys separate themselves tonight. All right. Well, one guy who separates himself from the two of us is Stu Myrick down there on the field. Good evening, Stu. Good evening, Mark and Bucky. It's getting loud. It's getting hyped down here on the field. I had a chance to talk to the head coach for Mansfield Timberview, James Brown. As you would expect, with you know having seven, 77 points scored on you, he said obviously they got to get better defensively. He felt like they were misaligned a lot last week against Bixby. Uh, their challenge tonight, they feel like Lake Travis is a sound team on both sides of the ball, especially Hudson Card called him an athletic quarterback. They feel they need to contain him to – Almost, they're almost as if they're deferring. They want to see him throw rather than run. They figure that's the better way to keep him contained and mitigate the Lake Travis offense. All right, Stu, thank you very much. Following up on that real quick, Buck, Hudson Carr did not run the ball very much. I mean, he stayed in the pocket last week. Can we expect him to run a little bit yeah, more I, I, you need Yeah, there's probably some set runs for him for, for Hudson tonight, I would believe, Mark. And last week they did such a good job on him. They stood on his outside shoulder. When he tried to run wide, a lot of times Hudson will, Hudson will take off and just flat out beat you to the outside and around. Well, they had their defensive end, Mark, make sure that he was on that outside shoulder, force Hudson to come back inside. And the one the one throw that he got outside was a fantastic throw back across his body for a, for a nice game last week. Lake Travis and the Wolves of Timberview. Up next, we'll visit with Cavalier head coach Hank Carter when Lake Travis football continues in a moment. Bacon Design is a full-service design agency here in Bee Cave, supporting Lake Travis Athletics since 2011. Logos, packaging, websites, illustrations, print media, and more. Bacon Design specializes in making your business look good. We work with any size business from worldwide corporations to brand new startups. If your business needs some sizzle, give Bacon Design a call at 512-386-1358 or visit us at BaconDesign.net. Mention Lake Travis Football for 25% off your first project. Bacon Design, cooking up fast designs for lean budgets since 1993. The Lake Travis Youth Association is a proud sponsor of Lake Travis High School football. LTYA is the place for youth sports in Lake Travis. The Lake Travis Youth Association has been serving the youth sports needs of the Lake Travis area since 1978. LTYA, it all starts here. Go to ltya.org for more info on youth sports in the Lake Travis area. That's ltya.org for youth sports in Lake Travis. Lake Travis Youth Association, it all starts here. Ramos Consulting LLC is a full-service local engineering firm with offices in Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. They service public and private clients and have been involved with numerous projects statewide. Being local, they are a proud sponsor of Lake Travis football and are excited to support a program that develops champions. And they look forward to another exciting season. Go Cavs! Visit RamosConsultingLLC.com. That's R-A-M-O-S Consulting LLC.com for more information. 
live on the highest elevation in Lakeway. With luxury homes starting at $600,000, Serene Hills offers hill country views without the commute. Our community is surrounded by 342 acres of unspoiled Texas wildlife. Residents have access to Lake Travis schools, miles of hike and bike trails, and kid-friendly parks. Serene Hills is the place where your dream home will become reality. For more information on how to get out of the city and into the hills, visit serene-hills.com. Schedule a tour of your Dream Hill Country home today. Back to last week, I know you weren't overly pleased with the performance, but it's a new week, and you had a good week of practice. We did. Uh, we've got to we got to coach better than that. We're gonna we got to play better than that. I, I was pleased with the way we responded, but um, all that doesn't really mean anything until we get out here tonight and see how we face these guys and how we respond tonight out here on the field. What do you mean you got to coach better? Does that mean you got to get them ready mentally, physically, put them in the right position? Elaborate on that. Uh, we have to coach in such a way that the kids go out and execute. Um, so it's not a matter of coaching as hard as you can or, or even the kids playing as hard as they can. We have to do it exactly right. We have to execute. Um, and so sometimes that means stepping on the correct foot. It means lining up uh, correctly. That means running your routes at the right depth. It's everything. And so those are things. Uh, this is why we play teams like Arlington Martin and like, and like Timberview because these guys are going to expose your weaknesses and – and uh, they're good football teams. And so, um, you know, I, I think that our kids are, are going to respond well tonight. I'm excited to see them get out there and do it again. There's that old adage about the improvement between week one and week two. Why, why does that statement exist, and, and do you think it's accurate? Well, I mean, it, you know, it's a different group of kids. It's not the same exact guys that you walked off the field in December with. It's, it's not even the same exact coaches, and we haven't played a football game and uh, you know, in, in you know, eight or nine months, whatever it is. Um, and so I think that the more you do something, repetition, muscle memory, and just getting together and being cohesive, that helps with every little part of a football game, uh, whether that's on the field offense, defense, special teams, or even just the way the coaches communicate, the way that the trainers communicate when there's an injury. And so everybody gets better a week later. That being said, they got better this week too. And so, uh, you know, we, we got to go out there and we got to play harder than them, obviously, but we have to execute. Well, tonight you have the Wolves of Timberview. We discuss them right after this. Are you refinancing or buying a home soon? You deserve a true expert to help you with the biggest investment of your life. Call A.J. Miller, your local reputable Lake Travis lender. Visit ajmillergroup.com to apply. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. NMLS number 2289 is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter into an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information, rates, and programs are not subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. A.J. Miller, NMLS number 403782, 1202 Lakeway Drive, Suite 12, Lakeway, Texas. In need of a private office space? FirmSpace is an upscale professional workplace catering to business professionals who want a luxury work environment. FirmSpace wants to make your workday easier by providing five-star hospitality, all-inclusive memberships, and an amazing community to network. Located at 500 West 2nd Street, FirmSpace offers a prime downtown location, top-of-the-line design, amenities, and the best views in Austin. Schedule your tour today at FirmSpace.com and see how we can upgrade your office. FirmSpace.com live on the highest elevation in Lakeway. With luxury homes starting at $600,000, Serene Hills offers hill country views without the commute. Our community is surrounded by 342 acres of unspoiled Texas wildlife. Residents have access to Lake Travis schools, miles of hike and bike trails, and kid-friendly parks. Serene Hills is the place where your dream home will become reality. For more information on how to get out of the city and into the hills, visit serene-hills.com. Schedule a tour of your dream hill country home today. At Sing Orthodontics, it's all about you. Our experienced staff is focused on making sure you feel confident and love your smile. As Lakeway's leading provider of braces and Invisalign, Sing Orthodontics offers teeth straightening solutions for all ages and lifestyles. With convenient payment and financing options available, straightening your smile has never been easier. Mention this ad for a $500 savings on braces or Invisalign. Call for details or schedule your free exam now at SingOrtho.com. Back with Coach Carter. Mansfield Timberview comes in. I know it was kind of an awkward deal because you played Summit last year and you ended up with Timberview this year in the home and home, but they're a good team. They played a really good team last week. It was all, There were all kinds of fireworks, 77 to 47, but 
that, that tells you one thing. You can score points against them, but they can score points against you. Yeah, they're a, a very, very talented football team. Their kids are physical and they play hard, um, and they're used to winning around there. Coach Brown has done a nice job with this program. Uh, yeah, they did. They lost to a really good team last week, an out-of-state opponent, um, and they put a lot of points on the board. They did give up a lot. And so, you know, hopefully we can capitalize on some of that, but we've got to run to the football. Their, their skill position players are as good as anybody's will play this year. And their line of scrimmage guys are, are pretty big. And when you look at just just sheer numbers, heights and weights versus your guys, it seems to be a mismatch. Uh, they got a lot of big, strong, fast guys. But as I said before, we, we, uh, we normally don't win the game when we walk off the bus. We win the game when we get out here and execute and outplay them and play harder and play smarter, and that's what we got to do tonight. It seems that over the – last couple of years when you've had losses and there have not been very many of them it's usually when there's a physical offensive line and a good running game and they ran for a lot of yards last year they have several guys who can run the ball how does that prepare you for later in the season what can we expect tonight yeah i mean anytime that we're playing athletic quarterbacks that can move move their feet um, it, it brings the triple option element into it, and, and they're skilled guys. They're they're long and fast, and so you know they're going to make us play in space. It's it's a great challenge for us. I love it. It gets us ready for for our district season and for for what some of our opponents will look like down the road in the playoffs. Your offense against their defense. Where do you see the advantages? Uh, we've got to go execute and play with tempo. I don't think they play teams that throw the ball like we can. I, I also think that we're going to run the ball better tonight than we did a week ago. Um, and, and, and we're going to go out and we've got to play physical and we've got to, to be able to mash in some at the point of attack and we've got to play fast to get them tired. Thanks for your time. Good luck. That's Hank Carter, head coach of the Lake Travis Cavaliers, as we get ready for kickoff. And once again, Buck, they have decided to kick off with Hurry up a, offense. about three minutes on the clock. <laughs> Hurry up.